Hey there, it's Popmolson, and nice of you to join me for a brand new episode with Prison Architect. And here we are. We can see the guys in the workshop are really working. This guy's teaching. We have a teacher right here trying to make our prisoners a better version of themselves. We have parole going on, so a lot of stuff is happening in the prison. But we also need to do a few changes, I think. So we are constructing the hallways now, so that everything will be inside, which is a very good thing, as soon as that's done. Because that will really help us to control the amount of contraband in our prison. And I think that's really important. But if we go and check the needs of our prisoners, we can see that there's a need for family, that it's not completely fulfilled. There's a need for recreation. We are doing some things with that but we might be able to add a gym or something like that and we can see an increasing need for luxuries and of course that is for luxuries that are allowed so not those crazy things that will um like telephones and lighters etc but good stuff now how can we get that well one of the things we can do is get a store we can even make a little bit of money out of that so that's one of the things I would like to do and this should be a suitable area for a store now let's see can we get a shop yes we can so let's start a very small little shop right here now it needs a few different things of course first let's get some lighting in so that we can see what we're doing it needs to be indoors well that's happening it needs a shop front so let's build two shop fronts in this case so that there's two places where people can get stuff. And it needs some shelving to um, put all the stuff on. And that's about it. So, oh, we also need a table, by the way. Now let's put in a small table here. That should do the trick. Oh, and one here. And as soon as this is done, we'll get back to it. We'll put in uh, prison laborers and then we'll see what happens. One of the other things we can change is the visitation area. Now we're not doing that straight away because our workers are quite busy now. But as soon as they're quite done we're going to change this one up. The room will stay the same but we're just going to make it so that more prisoners can fit in. Now at the same time I'm always scared for tunnels so let's do a tunnel search. Make sure that there's no escape tunnels Nobody trying to get out. In case you're wondering, will I go around what looking for all those nice uh, pages? No, I won't. Because if we check here, the game Bible, we have unlocked all of them. We didn't unlock all Polaroids, so there are still pictures to be gathered. But we at least got all the um, pages of the uh, notebook, so that's really interesting. You want to learn more about the game? One of the things you can do is is uh, read the um, the pages in there. That should really help you out. Let's see. I want a few extra capacitors here just to make sure that we don't run out of power. That should help out. Ooh, they found a tunnel somewhere. That's very good that they found it. All we have to do now is get rid of it. So let's remove these two tunnels. And it might as well be once they start removing them that we will find all of it. That happens every now and then. So let's just wait and see until a few workers come in and start to remove it. Which is something they should prioritize. So we should see guys coming in to clear this. Um, well, not straight away, but it shouldn't take too long normally. So these guys are really busy laying the foundations. Ah, we can see here. A little hallway is done. No lighting in it yet, but we can do that later on. That's fine. Well, they're not really hurrying to uh, remove these tunnels. Ah, there he is. Perfect. Alright, let's get rid of those tunnels. Make sure that there's nothing left from it. Now, they should also clear out the debris, or prisoners will take that and use those as weapons. Stones, etc. Alright, so this looks good. This area seems almost done. This is going... Ooh. We're getting there fairly quickly. And with that, we will have a totally enclosed prison. Alright, how did we do with the deployment? So these rooms are all shared, which is fine. We have a lot of medium security prisoners. 
that would bring in more money. So we could, for instance, if we get a bigger yard here, we can make this one only for the um, medium security prisoners and this one for the minimal security. That could work out. Then they, there will be less interaction, which could be good. Interesting. Ah, this isn't as white as I want it to be. This is only three white. Oh, that's a little issue. Didn't make it big enough. My fault. We'll change that out later. Alright, there's no visitors here, so let's change this out. What we're going to do is we're going to demolish these three walls. And then we're going to move this one. Let's rotate it like this. Do the same with this one. Let's rotate it like this. We'll do the same with this one. There. And this one. There. And this one. Oh, we can't yet. All right, we'll leave it right there. We have to move this door into um, this area. And then we'll have to close this off, of course. But we'll have to wait and see if uh, the people will come already to do those jobs. Yeah, there they come. So that's good. They're really... Well, he's really working hard. Took the door out. So let's get a new piece of door in there. Alright, let's see. That one should be moved. Now this one. Can we put it in there? Yes. And this one. I also want to put in new. But we have to turn them around. So we'll do it like this. And then we'll have to wait a bit until they're all in the right spot. And then we'll add a few. Oh, no, not right there. We'll add one here. Yes, and one here. And one there. Then, of course, we need to add a few doors. So we'll add a normal door right here. And a visitor door. Oh, we already have a visitor door, so we don't have to do that. So now, we add it three extra booths to this one. Perhaps in the end we can do even more. I'll have to check that. Let me try something. So if we put this one in right like this, yeah we can get even more in I think. Alright so what I'm going to do Let's move this. No, let's get rid of this one. I don't want that one anymore. Let's move this one up. Down here. All of them. That should help. And then we can try and put in another row. Or maybe two. Who knows? Let's put in some flooring. Right. We have to be aware of prisoners escaping now through this gate, but as soon as these are all here, that's no longer an issue. Because prisoners just can't get in, can get in here, and that's all they can do. They can move backwards then. Yeah, that's it. That guy was trying to escape. So, what can we do now? Well, we can add even more boots. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Three, oops, four, five. And we'll move this door... Move it in here. So this will be another prisoner aisle. Then we have to build... Let's slow down a bit, by the way, because we're going very quickly now. I want to keep track of what we're doing. Yeah, I think we should do another little row of foundation right here. Just to make sure that this doesn't turn into a wall. That's better. Because the wall should be placed right here. And... Ooh some corridors here now. This is also only three white, so we definitely made a calculation problem. Well, it's okay. It might just be a little issue here later on, so we'll fix that. Ah, this is done as well. Very nice. How are we doing here? Ah, they removed the door and placed it down where it needs to be. Now we need an extra wall here. And as soon as that's done, we can put in a visitor door here as well. That will increase the amount of visitors that we can have. 
which is very nice. I'll just have to wait until really the um, entrance is done. Otherwise it will be quite tough to uh, maintain a secure prison, of course. And after this, it's also time to start getting to the shop. See if that's done already. Ooh, some prisoners have serious complaints. Probably about the food. Can check that soon. Why isn't nobody coming to build that wall? Do we have a few high quality meals? I thought we have set things up. In a way. Oh, it's still low quality. Let's put this on high. Got the low one. So we have three high quality meals a day. Well, we have only one moment for eating planned now. Now we have two. And I guess we should plan one extra, so we'll do it in front of the shower time. Then we can give them three meals a day and they should be a lot happier. It's also a lot costlier, so it'll cost us quite a lot of money to give them all this good food. So we'll change that back later, of course. Alright, well, this will open up five more visitor booths. I like it that way. We have a few prisoners that can't get to a cell. Why is that? Probably because a few inmates are in a cell where they should not be or something like that. I don't know. Let's look at the deployment. This is all good. This is all good. There's no access. Why is there no access here? They build a wall here. Why would they do that? All right. So let's demolish this wall. Let's get rid of it. We don't need it there. It's a bit stupid. Same here. Ah, so they can't get out there. That's the main problem. Alright, well, now that should be fixed. Ooh, there's a little bit of a fight going on there. Let's get a few guards there. That should do the trick. Yeah, peace is coming back. This is open now, so they can go to their cells. Come on, let's remove this last part so they can get out. It's really not that hard. Let's pull those this as well, by the way. Ah, they should be able to get out here now. Yeah, they finally noticed. These can all get out and all problems are solved. Alright, that's good. Now we have a little store here. Perfect. Let's put in the logistics. One, two, three, four. I think we should put a guard in there, just to be sure. And maybe... Yeah, we have the body armor, so that's good. No real need to get any of the other things here. Alright. So there is quite a little bit of uh, complaints going on. And I think we should see why. Mostly because of family and the food. Well, quite a few are hungry, I guess, but we should be able to feed all of them. So we shouldn't worry about it too much. Maybe we might be needing a bigger canteen soon. Maybe we can build another canteen here and another cell block so that we... At least we are making good amounts of money, so that's pretty important. Oh, that guy can't get to his cell. Oh, that's an issue. Yeah, that really is an issue. Why did you get out there? Alright, let's do search prisoner. I think we should also finish this walling. Maybe we should put in a prison door in here, like this. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Really don't want to, but we have to put in a prison door somewhere. Prisoners will try to get out, of course, but we should just try and hold them back. This should really solve the um, problem with all the contraband, though. Let's just build a wall here as well, so this side is completely cut off from the outside. Come on, let's build this door. Somebody coming with the door? No. Well, they should be able to reach it. 
too dangerous. It's not dangerous. Just get there. Maybe we should hire a few more guards, because I think we don't have enough to run around. That might frighten people. Ooh, they found some stuff here. They're finding some serious stuff everywhere. Perhaps we should do a shakedown soon. Ah, there comes the door. Perfect. That should solve that issue. Then we should see a guard rush there to um, check out the guy. Well, they're still a bit slow. Yeah, I think it's time to do a... Uh, well, because most... We have quite a few prisoners with serious complaints. That's one of the issues. Family and food. But food should be fixed soon. Since we, they now have three eat moments, which is very good, actually. So they should not be too this pleased by it. Right, it's another eating time, so hopefully... How many of these do we have? 111. I hope they all have time to eat. That might be one of the issues. They simply don't have enough time to eat. That could be it. If that's the case, we should just move a few tables up so that we can squeeze in some extra. Or just build another canteen. Let's dissolve a bit of the needs. Well, slowly a bit, but not too much. You can see a lot of prisoners sitting there, not eating. Hmm, interesting. Apparently they're not really interested in the food then, I guess. Comfort's going okay. Sleep's going okay. Food's still not good. Hygiene. How many of these janitors do we have? I'll get two more. Let's look at the logistics. Where's our cupboard? Right here. Yeah, they're not really working there. Ten and ten. Maybe that helps. They are able to run the store now, I think, because they put stuff on the shelf. And we can see that things are going better. 26 prisoners now say that they are well treated. 33 prisoners are well fed. And that should calm things down a bit in the prison. So I'm aiming for that. That's really what I want. Just get things calm a bit. Now we can spend some money on finalizing these areas, but I'm not sure why. We do need an extra canteen, however. Or at least a bigger one. Perhaps we can just create a bigger one right here. Just not sure if we should. Questions, questions. What should we do? Hmm, let me think about it. It would also be a good time to add an extra cell complex right here, but I don't think we have the money for that right now. We did get the extra family visitors in now, so hopefully that will help all the prisoners out. Find some family. Do we have any free rooms here? No. So if we want to really expand, we should buy this piece, but that's a bit costly. Of course, we could try and loan some money. That could also work. We we do make some money. It's just a bit slow. I could also just make this a complete big yard. And then switch out this area and turn it into a second canteen. So that we have two canteens here. That might also break up the prisoners a bit more, having them less likely to attack each other. I think that could work. Let's try and set that up. Let's just finish some walling here. So 
something like this. And yeah, we'll just leave it with a three wide corridor. That's fine. I don't really care. Then we should remove these doors, of course. Let's dismantle them. Put in normal doors. That's fine. That's not really the issue. So yeah, let's just do it like that. Then we can demolish this piece of wall. And this piece of wall. And then this is just one part of the yard. And we now get a really big yard. And we can move some stuff from there. All right, let's just do a total um, rearranging of the yard. And make it really big. That might actually be a good thing. Well, let's slow down a little bit to see if we can keep up with everything. Well, it doesn't really matter where we put everything, because we have so much space now. And let's see. Let's tell them that this complete area is now the yard. Really funny how we can just walk those very big bleachers through this little tiny door. Really interesting to watch. Right, let's set this up. I don't know which one I already started moving, but we'll move it anyway. And yeah, let's start moving these punch bags. We'll need even more there, so. Move. And right there. Move. I guess we should remove the yard function here now. We don't want the prisoners to hang out here. And then we can also tell these guys to get out of there. They don't need to stay there. Let's add some more dumbbells down here. Now this is a really big yard. They should be pretty happy with this, I think. Right, that's it. Did we already move this one? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we are. Okay. So that's it. Now let's get um, some new walling here. And yeah, like this. Then we should dismantle these gates. These fence doors, of course. Let's dismantle them. And then I'll try and see if I can clone this kitchen. Because if it fits, that will be perfect. Does it fit? No, it needs to be one bigger. Alright. I think we can do that. But I'm not going to clone it then, of course. We'll just leave the room as big as it is now. I'll just put in a foundation. As soon as this is all done, of course. And then we'll just make it a diner. Snacks, bald, level of contraband. Rather good. Ah, prisoners can start coming by here now to get some stuff. Very good. I think we should do a narcotic search now. So let's do so. 31 prisoners are well treated, 29 or 30 are well fed, 3 prisoners have calmed down recently. Doesn't seem too bad. Right, let's dump these. Ooh, there's a few issues with prisoners. Ah, oh, they're still able to deal with it. Now, I would really like to just get a lot of money and start on this side as well and get the maximum security out on this side because that really helps out to keep the maximum security prisoners um, out of the way of all the others so I'm kind of tempted to just borrow a chunk of money and get going with it but 
sure if that's the right way to go because we have to get everything on this side then so we need prison cells we need a canteen we need all those different things again so we might just do the same thing on this area and, and just build a small prison block with a few of the um with a few spaces for these high security guys hmm, not sure Ah, they are removing the walls now and building the new ones. Oh, they're moving quite slow, I have to say. What else are they doing? Ah, here they come. Yes, there they are working. Now build that wall. What else are they doing? Why are they just all walking like they are actually doing something, but I don't believe they're doing something. Quite a few of them are getting stuff in here, which is okay, it's nice. How many builders do Ooh, we only have 20? I thought we had more, that's why. Alright, so this door is a bit crowded, I think. Let's help them out. Get a few extra doors in there, because this is way too crowded. That's not working. But of course, also... Just get a door right here and right here. That should help out too. Well, let's keep things going. Hopefully they'll come in with a few doors soon. And this is going to take a long time to check all prisoners. They're getting pretty mad at this point. So we'll have to make sure that they calm down after this. Now with these extra doors, that's helping out. There's a much better flow in and out now. This seems to be quite done. I really want to lock this in. And then... Where should we put the doors? Well, I think... If we put... A, we have already have doors from the common room. In there. Perhaps we should get a door here and here as well. Why are all the edge areas blocked? That's just not not right. I don't understand why that's blocked. There's no reason for it to be blocked. Alright, let's speed up again because this is going too slow. We've had a door right here. You don't really need a staff door because there's so many doors that they can just get through that. That's fine. Let's get things going. We are picking up quite a bit of contraband, so hopefully that's about it. Hopefully after this we'll be done with that. So despite all the aggressiveness and things like that, I still think we do have a working prison. We're getting there with the inmate nutrition rating thing, so that's working out. Just have to wait until that grant is completed. It is in progress, so that's good. And then we just go back to two meals a day, but maybe on high um, yield, so that they will get extra happy. Narcotic search. Only dogs can do that. How many dogs do we have? Five. Ah, that's why it's taking so long. Perhaps we should get a few extra. We'll get three extra. That might help. And it can also help keep the prison safe from more... Um, narcotics so that's that's the way to go now all right this seems done let's put in the foundation here how much does it cost oh that's not too expensive so let's put it in and then we can start to work on uh, oh there's a death oh, probably od'd yeah he overdosed all right We have two doctors. They're not really moving around. We have three guards, so that should not be the issue. I think it's also time soon. We have a classroom, but we don't have a training room for our staff yet. We, need sh we should start training our staff. If we can give them things like um, first aid training, that can really help out. What we should build in this area so that we can get it there. 
Oh, I'll think about it. First, let's finish this area, of course. Alright, there it is. The new space for a canteen. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. So let's build a um, wall here. Let's get a staff door. Let's tell this to be the uh, kitchen. Let's put stuff in the kitchen. One, two, three, four. Four should be fine. I think. No, I want a fridge. One, two, three, four. And of course we need a sink in there. Let's put a sink in there. Uh, two fire sprinklers should be fine. They'll put in three lights. And a bin. And a tray dispenser. Alright. Uh, let's get the utilities in. So we need electrical power. We need to get water from somewhere. I think this is the closest source. And... Let's just do it like this. And get the sprinklers connected through this. That should work out. Now let's get the lighting. Or no, we'll just make it a canteen first. And then we'll get the lighting in. Alright. We need a serving table. One, two. And we'll put in dining tables. And we're going to put it a bit closer to the wall now. That should work. And now prisoners can eat here too at a certain point. So let's get a bench. I need a bench. Three, four, five, six. Maybe this will keep everyone, or give everyone a better chance of getting a good meal, and that might keep everyone even more happy. Although they're coming in here already expecting food, probably, and they're not going to get any because we are still building here. Yeah, but this one is very crowded, so we need it like this. Let's get two extra cooks that can start cooking there at a certain point. We can even deploy cooks to a certain area. So we'll put three in here at least. And logistics. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this should help out. 61 prisoners have serious complaints about what? Hygiene. Well, they're showering now, so that's okay. Family recreation. Luxuries is going down a bit, so that's working out. So perhaps it's also time for a little gym something? Interesting. We're almost there with the inmate nutrition. We have 50%. So we have five prisoners past the education class. That's really good. I like it. Mokli was sent back to your prison. Oh, we'll get a fine for that. And people get sent back to the prison. Right, what can we do to improve the yard? Not that much, actually. Interesting, but I'm not really into getting that. Boombox. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Well, maybe we can get the boombox in the um, common room. A few more prisoners happy. Ah, the lighting is coming in here. They're cooking now. Extra foods coming in. Hygiene. Hmm, not there yet. Let me see right here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 40 cells. That's not nearly enough showers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have 20 showers. Maybe we should do a double row. That could also work. I'm not sure yet. 
Not sure yet. At least a few more should be able to shower, I think, because... No, it's not that bad, actually. Only 20 prisoners need it. Maybe that's the um, maximum security guys. Oh, they do have a shower here now. They're not really using it, though. Yes, they should. And I don't think visitation is that busy now. Let's hope more people will come in. I think we should pave the way so that they can move quicker. Faster or whatever. Fight going on here. Well, he won. These guys are eating now. Is that working? Yes, apparently. 33 prisoners are well fed. Well, that's the thing. If you start with only a little bit of money, which we did, then now things are hard every now and then. Alright, let's see. Because we can change the regime again. Let's get rid of that eating moment. Give them that slightly bit extra time to sleep. That might help. Yeah, sleep is already okay, but... Well, these got their needs fulfilled, which is nice. Well, at least we are making money, so I'm happy with that. There's just not too many into the uh, visitor's area. So they have family needs, but... Apparently they want to meet them in a room like this. I'm not really keen on getting an extra room like this. Hmm, what we can do, however, let's move this one up, then move this one up, and just squeeze in a few extra rooms, or a few extra tables. That could be the difference between... Is he going to move it with the guy in it? No, alright, that's good. No, I'm not going to move the light. Let's move this up. Let's move this one up. Let's move this one up, and let's get a few extra tables, then. One, two, three. Well, three extra tables can really make a difference. It's a 50% increase. Kind of curious to see what that does. But all the rest look nice. Alright, let's go ahead, build a piece of wall here, so that we can soon lay a foundation here that's completely closed off, and start working on a maximum security area, and then we can use this canteen for maximum security eating. Family, recreation, and hygiene are the biggest issues. family we're slowly hopefully solving now recreation well they have enough recreational area here maybe we should get a gym perhaps we can um, move these up put them somewhere here and then just build a little gym in the middle here I don't know, does a gym have to be placed inside? We can check that, of course. We'll just have to find a gym there. Size by size, 7 by 7, and it needs to be indoors. But I can probably just click an area here and build a wall around it with a few doors, and then we have a gym that they can use as well. So that might be part of the solution. Alright, we can do a little planning. Alright, this will be 10 by 10. Then we have a gym. Doesn't have to be big. Though, we can make it a bit bigger if we move these over, of course. I think that might actually work. We'll make it a slightly bigger place. There's a dog handler pretty stuck, I guess. 
Oh, there we'll find it. All right. Deployment. Yeah, we need two guards in there now, just to make sure that there's always one present as soon as they try to smuggle something. There's no guards present in the yard. That's a problem, so we'll add three. We really need guards there. We need two in here as well. One in there. That's better. Ah, this vegetation room is getting busy. This as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's still family hygiene. Recreation is, is getting slowly better. Perhaps we should add a few shower heads. Let's try. Just add some shower heads here. See if that can make a difference. And if it does... I still like to get these, by the way, because I don't want to see wet places. If it does make a difference, we'll do that in all the uh, sections. Or maybe we should just do that. To help try and fix the hygiene issue. Let's just do it like that. Utilities. Let's just put it in like this. Then put in a few extra drains. They're not that costly anyway. Well, let's see if this helps out. I think we're down to four and we had five recently. That is actually a difference, so... Let's start. Is there something from here that we can remove and put somewhere else to get an extra visitation area, maybe? Well, if we build the maximum security area, we can do that. So, let's do it like this. Start in this corner, we'll do it like this. Oh no, this is not right. We'll do it like... Um, yeah, if we build right here, they will tear down that wall and that's not supposed to happen. So yeah, we'll do it like this. Let's see. There, it requires an entrance. We can build an entrance there, that's fine. I see there are some issues going on. So we'll work on that soon. Let's go right to the place where they're fighting. Oh, right here. A riot underway. Ah, there we have our first emergency. That's very cool. Let's get the riot police. Yeah, we can now not get extra guards. Let's get a few extra, though. Cool, we have a riot on our hands. So let's go, riot police. Let's take back our prison. Here they come. Let's get all of them. Let's get going. Alright. Let's deal with all these fighting prisoners. Although we have a lot of guards being put down. That's not supposed to happen. Alright, you guys get in here. You guys as well. Let's go and fight them off. It's not too big a riot. Should be okay. They're really fighting in here now. Alright, this area is clear. Let's get in here. Make sure that's clear. As soon as the redness is gone, it's cleared. So that's cool. Yeah, we had our first riot. Only five rioters are left, so... Ooh, we're going to get a very busy time. Let's get three extra doctors. And is it over? Yeah, it's over. All right. Well, you guys can go home. That's fine. Thank you very much for helping out. That was amazing. And now what we have to do is... Um, well, get everything back under control and going. Right, well, I guess our doctors need to work quite hard now. A lot of dead guards. Oh, the right police is moving out, but that's fine. 
We have a lot of station guards, so probably a lot of our guards are not doing anything. Let's try it like this. There's... Ooh, there's a lot of people in the infirmary. Let's put in some extra beds. Yeah, yeah, we have five doctors. They just need to take their time and move around and heal everyone. There they go. You can see one going there. So that should, should do the trick at a certain point. They're taking away unconscious prisoners, trying to make them happy again. Oh, wow. This is real madness. All right, let's start locking up these doors, because that can help contain prisoners. Luckily, there were no fires. Right. With all those doors locked, it might... Or it can be very well possible that fewer prisoners will run around and do bad things. You can also still see that... Workers are pretty busy. Ah, here they are picking up um, the ones that didn't survive. And my officers are now clearing out everything as well. We don't have a morgue, so that's something. So we can't pick up all those prisoners or, and dead people ourselves. So the guys coming in have to do that. Or our own guards, I'm not sure. Well, at least the rest is peacefully asleep, apparently. <laughs> oh, wow, this is cool. Luckily, we had the riot police. Paramedics. Oh, next time we should hire the paramedics as well, because they can heal all the uh, other guards. Or perhaps we should get them in now. I believe that they can help heal everyone. Let's just try it out. We can hire them anyway. Right. I think the door needs to be opened first, and then they can come in here. Yes. All right, here they go. Let's see if they can um, play a role in healing people around here. This guy's injured, for instance. Can they do something about it? Or can they only heal my personnel? That, that can also be the case. We'll find out. Yeah, there they go. They go around healing. Let's just wander around the prison and make sure that we heal everybody. Let's get here. Ah, there are already doctors in there. Are there any injured here? Yeah. You guys get in here. Let's go. Ah, oh, they can open the door themselves, so that's good. Ah, and those doctors need a key. The other ones can just open the door on themselves. And apparently most issues are solved. Wow, that was cool. It was a big riot, though. And we're still in a bad place. 77 prisoners are shackled in their cells. So I guess we need to work something out there. Ah, these aren't, so that's good. We'll have to f start freeing shackled prisoners at a certain point, I think. But for now, this is good. These guys can go home. There's no more issue. And... Yeah, things are okay now. What are the complaints right now? Safety, hygiene, family, still the same issues. No real riots going on right now, just a few little fights. Should have plenty of staff now. All right. Well, it has been 45 minutes, or almost 50. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I had a blast, especially with this little riot. And, well, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And then, of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.